What's up guys, Mason the Brock Anderson here. So, covered all my bases on the CW TV show front. Now it's on to some of the movie trailers for DC slash Warner Brothers. And the first one to talk about is by far the coolest looking trailer, Wonder Woman. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know how this movie is going to be, but... Damn if DC does not know how to put together a good trailer. I mean, the Batman v Superman trailer was freaking cool too. This one, it looks really cool. It looks awesome. And there are even a couple jokes in it. So maybe this one, it's got Chris Pine, so maybe it'll be a little bit funnier. But anyway, yeah, it was just, it was really well done. Um, I love the ones where you've got music tying in with the action so you know on every drum beat it's like somebody's doing something guns are shooting on the drum beat I love trailers like that they do it so well in this one but there's a lot there's a lot to talk about you know you've got it starts off with I guess Chris Pine's character is woken up on the beaches of wherever um, Wonder Woman's from I can't remember the name of it because I'm not as nerdy as I want to be. <laughs> anyway, so he's waking up there, it looks like, and it looks like he, you know, there are no men that have ever been there, so now he's the first man to be there, something like that. Anyway, it, you open with that, and then from there it sort of j just goes everywhere at once. You know, you've got them fighting, I'm guessing in World War II, maybe? I don't want to say that and then be completely wrong. It's obviously the... Vietnam War. No, definitely not that one. Anyway, so you've got a lot of fight scenes. You've got a couple moments between characters. Um, my favorite scene out of all of it, it's all the fighting. There's the one scene where they're just sitting in the boat, and he's just like, what, so no men have been here? What about your father? I've never had a father. I was like brought to life straight from Zeus. And he's just like... Well, that's neat. <laughs> Just the delivery was perfect. And it's kind of what I expect out of Chris Pine. You know, a bit of dry humor. You, you can see a bit of it in Star Trek as well, which if you haven't seen the new one, I recommend it. It was pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. So I love the fact that they've got Chris Pine in because one of the biggest problems with Batman v Superman was where were the jokes? <laughs> There was only, like, one joke that I can think of, and it wasn't even really a joke. It was the one where, is she with you? I thought she was with you. And it's just kind of like, why would you think she, what? <laughs> anyway, so there was not enough joy and humor in Batman v Superman. Hopefully this will bring some to it. You know, we've got Chris Pine, which brings a lot to it. Um, some of the interaction between the characters seemed good. Uh, they have that final scene that kind of felt like it was thrown in to make it funnier, uh, where they have the woman who's like, I'm his secretary, and what's his secretary? Uh, oh, I do whatever he tells me to. Well, where from? I'm from, that's called slavery. I like her. I like her a lot. Just, just keep going. It wasn't delivered the best, but it shows that I think they realize that Batman v Superman was just way too dark and humorless. And so it feels like maybe they're trying to up the mood a bit, maybe make it a bit funnier. And so it felt like that was sort of forced in there to say, hey guys, we are funny, we can be funny. It didn't work very well, but it was okay. You know, nothing, it, it, it wasn't like the Ghostbusters trailer where that final joke was just completely not funny at all. It, it actually did make me chuckle the first time. Second time, not as much, but... Either way, it does look amazing. The fight scenes, half of them that were in this trailer were done in slow-mo. I mean, the one where she's sliding on the ground to go trip the guy across the room. You know, she's she's got her shield that she's sliding on. Uh, there was one where, like, they were shooting at her and she, like, blocks one with the shield, one with her sword. Um, There's one they shot, like, a, a mortar round at her and she just, like, blocks it away with the shield and it blows up over there. I was like, this is going to be an awesome, epic movie. I just hope that it's not just awesome and epic. I want it to actually be a good movie, too. Something that I can go in and not be like Batman v Superman, where I'm sitting there 
not laughing at all, sitting there not connecting with the characters at all. I want to connect with the characters. I want to get involved in the movie. And that's what Batman v Superman lacked. It lacked any connectivity to the story, to the characters, anything like that. So this trailer does give me a lot of hope for the Wonder Woman movie. So hopefully they show another one that has even more of the connection between characters and less action. But hopefully nothing that spoils the end of the movie like they did with Batman v Superman Doomsday. It was a Doomsday. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this trailer. Let me know what you thought down below. Um, if there's anything that you didn't like or did like, let me know. We can discuss it. Leave a like and subscribe for future trailer reviews, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace out.